I'm Jack Milne with the House Whisper Show. I got a good question the other day via the, the HouseWhisperShow.com, and the question was very simple. Jack, do I need a chimney? And uh, I thought about that for a minute, and I said, you know, what's really interesting is on my own home, I actually took my chimney down. So as to background, I live in a house that was built in 1968 that was originally oil fired. And back around maybe 1994 or five, there was a community that went in via cul-de-sac and I was able to convert to gas. What, what a great opportunity. Now, when I converted to gas, I went with a high efficient 96% boiler of which direct vents right outside my house. So what happened then, is it orphaned by water heater? And I did a previous episode on that. So if you want to know more about that, go back a little bit. So April 1st of 2022, we had a serious hailstorm come through our community to a point that I had to replace my siding. Now, my original gas-fired water heater was approaching 10 years of age. So I figured if I was going to switch out my siding uh, and I have a 10-year-old water heater, I had two options. One is wait three more years and replace my water heater, or two, given this opportunity, I could take my chimney down and go with a high efficient draft inducing direct vent water heater, which uses PVC. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Now behind me at my neighbor's house, you can see a single flue. And there's also a liner put in that because whenever you convert from oil to gas, you have to put a liner in in order to protect the terracotta. Now, Jack, why is that? Because oil burns sulfur. And when you mix sulfur and rainwater, it generates sulfuric acid. That in turn will deteriorate the inner portion of the clay of the terracotta, causing spalling and eventual failure. So if you take a look at my house, all on the side, you can see once again the chimney has been removed. As I mentioned earlier, I replaced my oil fired boiler with a high efficient 96% draft inducing gas boiler. So the, the, the pipes that you see coming from the, the building serve two purposes. The one that's pointing down actually inhales. So it takes outside air in so the boiler can have its combustion. And the one that comes out straight is the exhale. Now, it was funny when I first put it in because my neighbors thought my house was on fire because all this steam was coming from that horizontal pipe. So it was easy enough to call, as we used to call him, Uncle Ed, to say, no, we're all good. So, again, the first reason why I wanted to, re wanted to remove the, uh, the chimney. Now, the pipe that you see coming from my wall here is now my new water heater. So literally, right here is where... Uh, my masonry chimney had been. Now, what's the cost? It cost me roughly about $2,500 to have a mason come in and physically remove the chimney. Time-wise, three hours, and by that time, it was gone. The water heater, I went with the 75 gallon water heater just because my home has three and a half baths and I've got older kids, so in pre-COVID, that tank was about $1,500. Post-COVID, it was almost $900 more. So I invested about $5,000 between the water heater uh, and the removal of the chimney to have a nice clean run. So when it came time to do the siding, I didn't have to look at that chimney anymore. So once again, if you have a, 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 a water, or excuse me, a, a metal chimney that goes up the center of your home, if you want to update your equipment, which I always recommend you do, all that has to be done is take it below the roof line. Uh, this way it can stay in the attic, but then again, you're going to have a nice clean view of your roof line. So if you like the content, hit the like button as well as the subscribe button. If you'd like to get a, a, a copy of our home House Whisper uh, newsletter called House Whisper's Corner, hit the section below us. I'll see you next time.